Well, do you remember, it wasn't that long ago, the group was Buck's Fizz, and we won the contest with that song in 1981. Well, tonight, eight juries around the country will have to make their minds up about which of this year's eight entries will go forward to represent the United Kingdom in Munich in April. Well, Mr Terry Wogan hosts A Song for Europe 83, that's the programme, tonight on BBC One. Bruce Hamill went along to yesterday's rehearsals to ask Terry what he was doing. Not a great deal, as you can see, I'm standing here in the television theatre, and the atmosphere, which is why I always turn up, it's terrific, and everybody is actually in jolly good humour, and it should be a smashing show. Well, I hope it is. It's a very complex show, isn't it, Terry? I mean, a lot of things can go wrong. No, it's a very simple show. <laughs> You've got the cream of the nation's musical youth gathered here. Oh, I have. Yes. Some isn't... of them not as young as they used to be, from the looks of things. <laughs> it is really a state occasion, isn't it? Well, I always look upon it as that, something rather more important than, for instance, the opening of Parliament. It's, uh, it's more colourful for a start, and the crowd are younger. Not a great deal younger, but younger. And all is excitement and anticipation here, of course, because the winners here are going to go on to the Eurovision Song Contest in Munich on April the 23rd. And obviously, although they appear to be friendly and getting on well with each other, they all hate each other with a deep, abiding hatred. That's what I like. I like the atmosphere of hate. Yeah. Why do I do it? I do because um, it's pretty unhappy. <laughs> it's changed from the bonny cheeriness of my morning show, in which you are in direct competition, and which I also hate. Yes, I do, desperately. <laughs> I think, actually, one of the reasons you did um, uh, is this uh, bevy of uh, beautiful young ladies. Uh, I'm not far wrong, am I? Steady. Yeah, I'm not far wrong. Yeah. I, no. I am an impressionable youth, I'll admit to that. <laughs> and I'm easily swayed. And just a smile, and they get my vote all the time. <laughs> well, eight juries of the country who will be voting on, uh, on the song. Most of them Welsh, it appears, every year, because they all speak in a tongue that I don't understand. What happens? If an Irishman is digging a road somewhere and he puts his shovel through all those lines, what are you going to do then? I, I shall wing it and, as we do most years, I shall make up the scores as I go along. <laughs> Depending on the willingness of some of the female participants in the group. This explains an awful lot. Now, <laughs> is it true, I've heard a rumour that actually um, Jimmy Young wanted to take part this year? Yes. Well, it was generally felt that somebody quite as decrepit as him <laughs> would not be ready for it. I'm about as old as you can get to do this show, and the public have a great deal in accepting me, really. They have trouble. But you have a, a ringing baritone yourself, I seem to remember. I have. I can burst into song yeah. at the, the drop of a baton. Has but anyone not got a today. baton to drop? No, no not now, please. <laughs> 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 so you, you've no thoughts of uh, furthering your music around? Certainly not, and not in such distinguished company, because they're all, they're all fine singers and performers here, and it should be a terrific contest. Now, Terry, um, have you got uh, a message for the Breakfast Time audience? I certainly have. You swines, why aren't you listening to Radio 2? <laughs> <laughs> there is room for us all, my son. And you can make your own judgment on who should represent us this year in Munich in a song for Europe 83 tonight at 7 o'clock on BBC.